What's good everybody? Welcome to Bullers Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are taking a look at the all new Piranha Power Core from Columbia 300. We are going hard into that pre-Christmas new release season and there is a ton of options this year. So be sure you subscribe to the channel and while you're there, hit that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the next one. There's blood in the water once more for Columbia 300 as they stay on that re-release train with the all new Piranha Power Core. Dating all the way back to 1994, the Piranha line is one of those classics from the brands of Brunswick, almost on par with the Beast, the Rhino, and the One lines. This newest iteration features the Piranha Power Core, inspired by the ceramic core design that made this a legendary line with a 2.52 RG and an 055 differential. On the outside is this HK22 ERT solid cover finished to 2000 grit out of the box. Notably, this is only the third release from the brands of Brunswick to feature HK22 in a solid cover formula. For the layout, I went with a five by five by two and a half 2LS layout. In the Piranha, I see a lot of similarities to the Phase 2 from Storm, which has become one of the best benchmark pieces in the game. So I went with what I believed would work best on that piece in the hopes that this benchmark style layout will translate well for the Piranha. And on the lanes, the Piranha was just as consistent as I was. At no point did I feel like I didn't know what was going to happen down lane. If I threw it well, it had a very high chance of striking. If I threw it poorly, it didn't really do anything to bail me out. But that consistency in performance was far enough above my favorite part about throwing this ball. Big core symmetric solids are tailor-made for that, but even with that high bar, the Piranha did not disappoint. However, on the downside, when I'm on a house shot, I want a piece that will give me a bit more mistroom than the Piranha did. Even though it's a benchmark type reaction, there's still a decently high probability of a bad leave if you have too many moving parts in your swing. It's still slow, smooth, and continuous off the spot, but I pay the penalty on my misses. When considering pairings with this piece, the high speed from Columbia and the Ebony Fireball seem to be the best for a three ball arsenal. The high speed is similar in overall strength, but is much more core dominant with it being asymmetrical and a shiny hybrid. The Fireball matches up well with these two as it has much different and weaker core numbers, but still has that HK22 Pearl cover so you know it's going to jump off the spot down lane. Jumping to our cross brand comparisons, I first grabbed the TNT from Rotogrip, which is weaker overall with a heavier roll off the spot as long as it picks up. I'd say fresh out of the box, these two pieces are almost identical in strength, so I'd see the performance of the TNT as a sort of foreshadowing for what's to come with the Piranha. In second, I threw the Primal Shock from Motive, and here you can see the impact of its higher RG as it spins up much slower when it catches the roll and then booms off the spot. Same as the TNT, the cover stock performance is lower than the fresh surface that's on the Piranha, but the important part is that the shapes are much different due to the change in core numbers. But with that, here's my recommendations on the types of bowlers that I think would match up well with the Piranha Power Core from Columbia 300. The first is the simple bowler. If you're one that likes to do one thing, stand in the same spot, hit the same mark, throw the same ball the same way every time, you and the Piranha will get along well. The fewer moving parts you have in your game, the more you're gonna like the Piranha as you can drill it for what you want it to do, and it will pretty much do that for you every time. The second recommendation is for high rev bowlers that are struggling with over under. If you go from leaving 10 pins to two pins and don't have that piece in your bag to combat the cliff on fresh conditions, the Piranha is clean enough to keep the energy necessary to carry the corners and is strong enough to not worry if it's going to get up to the pocket. The all new Piranha Power Core from Columbia 300 might be a reissue of an old idea, but once it takes a bite out of your competition, you'll love being the new guy at the top of the leaderboard. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure you use that discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Thank you to my friend Nick Pluck for the drilling of this piece and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bullish paradise. Peace.